The best Madden 23 passing concept is back in Madden 24. And we're going to show you why in this video. Now, this is the double corner concept or the big corner, little corner concept for Madden 24 is 100% back. It's actually probably one of the better ways in the game to be able to attack um, zone coverage, especially press zone coverage. So we're going to show this concept out of the tight offset tight end in the Jets playbook. If you want to get my entire Jets offensive ebook, join the Patreon down in the description. It's only 10 bucks. It gets you access to all of our offensive and defensive ebooks. And the play we're looking at is going to be drive out. Now, last year, you would want to run this with your uh, tight to the short side of the field. This year, my opinion is you want to run this with your tight to the wide side of the field. And all we're going to do is we are just going to put the – um, the left side receiver on a corner route. Now this works best in my opinion, whenever this guy is going to be on the line of scrimmage and the, the basically the, the deeper corner route will be on the line of scrimmage and the shallower corner route off of the line of scrimmage. And what you're going to see is if you wait on this long enough, this corner route to the left side will always be open. Now the key is with this corner route this year, you want to kind of work on your timing um, a little bit as opposed to years past. So, what we want to do um, in terms of timing is we want the corner route to really have time to develop to that left-hand side. So we're going to wait on this a little bit longer than we would last year. You're going to wait for him to fully commit, and then you're going to pass lead it down and outside. So essentially, I'm kind of waiting to the last possible second for me to throw this route. And the reason why is because I need that outside quarter uh, to kind of convert into uh, – into coverage on the deep corner route there. So again, we're just going to wait and we're going to throw the ball right about there. And as you can see, just consistently attacking the cover for coverage. Now this beats every zone in the game. And it's probably one of the best ways to beat zone coverage in Madden 24. Uh, and we'll show you cover three now. So cover three and you'll basically see the same basic results. So probably a little bit better. Honestly, you see how he converts. It's going to be open to the sideline and you're able to attack Cover three. So cover four, check. Cover three, check. It's just consistent. It's going to be a big hitter. It's going to be a big play for you against those defenses. Now, a press cover two is a little different than a double Mabel cover two, which we'll talk about both of those. So this is kind of more of a standard cover two drop style coverage. And you'll see this corner out clearly gets over the top of that zone over there on the left-hand side of the field. Very easy uh, for us to be able to attack cover two because press cloud flats are actually terrible um, in this game. Now let's talk about uh, let's talk about backed off cover two, more of like your Mabel style coverages, like something like this. And this is probably the hardest uh, coverage to beat to the sideline this year. So what you're going to see though is this corner route. You see how it's going to run into that 30 yard cloud, and really not going to be there for you. But there is one thing you can do if you are anticipating that they are running a cover two with the backed off 30 yard clouds. So the easiest way to attack a backed off 30 yard cloud cover two style defense this year is simply instead of putting this guy on a corner route, we're going to put him on a streak. So now he is going to actually be the clear out route and this deep corner is going to just obliterate the cover two over to the sideline as you can see right there. Now another little pro tip with this and one that I really like to do to kind of Essentially, if I know that they might be in this cover two, but then they might, you know, audible back or, you know, they might kind of, you know, tweak it or whatever, you know, as they start to adjust their defense. One of my favorite little strategies is I'm going to just take this guy. I'm going to motion across a receiver. So in this example, motion CD lamb, we'll put him on the streak and the combo looks like this. And now this is almost, I mean, it's almost impossible to stop this play in zone because if they run cover two, then your outside corner is probably going to get open. Now, for this, you might want to be a little bit more short side. Um, so I'll show you this more to the short side of the field. So if you're short side, uh, if you're running your tight, if you're running the corner route to the short side of the field, the deep half is going to get cleared out a little better than he was right there. This will also clear out any kind of outside third that could be potentially problematic. And so, you know, you could run a combo like this. We're going to put this guy on the corner route. We're going to streak CD Lamb. So you see now... This is a really good route combo, and we get the same basic concept, but now if they're running a 30-yard cloud, you see how that deep corner route can just absolutely obliterate that coverage for a big play over the top of it. So this play does amazing, amazing against zone. Now, this year's game um, is a little different than last year's game because corner routes are not... 
they're not the best way to beat uh, man coverage. Um, one of the best ways to beat man coverage is to use curls and drags and running back angle routes. So you could do a combo that looks something like this right here. And this becomes, I think, one of the best plays in the entire game. So you could run something like this. And then if your corner routes don't win against man coverage, you'll have your running back coming up over the middle field for an easy read. This is a great way to be able to kind of hedge your bet on this. If you have a running back Texas route, another thing I recommended was to utilize a curl route. And the cool part about curl routes is they're really good against man this year. They're actually one of the better ways uh, to attack man coverage. So we'll show you a curl route right here. And what you see is running back will pull out the flat. Once he stops, you just possession catch it, and you're going to have a nice consistent way to beat man inside of an incredibly dominant zone beater that is almost impossible to stop in this game. Guys, if you want to learn more about how to become a better Madden player, join the Patreon today. You'll get access to all of my schemes, all of my offensive and defensive ebooks. Everything that I know about Madden, you will be given by being a member of the Patreon. It's only $10. It's a great way to support the channel as we continue to grow. Thanks for watching the video. To sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description and click the link down below.